I also have another fun thing, but it won't be here until today, so you'll see it somewhere in this video. I have a box arriving today. One last upgrade that I'm going to do to my moped and see what we can get out of this thing. Pretty hot today, boys and girls. But I'll still wear my hat. So I told you during the middle of this video a box is going to come in today and here it is. This is the box. Let's open it and find out what's in here. I'm excited about this one. I have one last upgrade to do this bike and this is supposed to be it. Oh yeah. Check it out. Da da da. What is this? This is a gasket for the gearbox. What do you think's in here? That's right. I have myself a set of racing gears for this puppy. This is going to up the ratio of the rear end. So let's see. Uh, oh, it's got a nice sticker. That's a cool sticker. I really like that. And the booklet, probably for installation. And let's see what the gears actually look like. These are for the rear end. The rear end of the bike is geared down. And a company in another country actually makes the racing gears for this thing. So, here's the one gear. These are hardened gears. And what this does is, like I said, bumps up my ratio. Here's the, uh, the axle. I was actually thinking about making my own set of these gears. And now that I have the parts like in my hands, I could make them. So when I take the other ones out, I might play with the ratios and actually cut these on the EDM. That's down the road. So there they are. So awesome sauce, very exciting. That is great. I am going to be uh, putting these on today. And yes, it's excited about this one because my variator, sweet, I got more stickers, check it out. My very, I like stickers, they're fun. My variator, um, it currently does not, um, it doesn't necessarily run under the correct RPM. So it's, it's running under too low of RPM and I need to bump the RPM up. So in order to do that, you put in a higher set of gear ends, uh, rear end gears, and that allows your variable transmission to work in the correct RPM range. So we'll find out. I did a lot of data recording, all my driving and stuff, and so We'll truly find out if this is going to work, and I have a good feeling that it will. I'm going to put the light rollers back in the variator. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with the hat. Sweat it all over it. I like my hats, but when it's hot, I'm done with those for a moment. I have my bald spot. Yeah! So, let's finish the tires, and then we'll put this puppy in. Because we're going to have the rear end out anyway, so that's why I wanted to do it now. But, I had to wait for it, and it just came today. Woot woot! Hey, Rally, say hi. What you doing? Watching yeah? Because you can't play in the dirt because you got in trouble for that already, didn't you? Oh man, you're zoned out. Anyway, took the uh, screws and a few bits and pieces off the gearbox here, so we're going to disassemble this thing and uh, we'll see what happens. So here we are. This is the whole gearbox completely apart. This is what it looks like. 
Hold on, let me get rid of this. So this is the entire gearbox. Now what I tried to find online was a comparison between the gears that we have and the gears that we're going to install. I wanted a side-by-side -side comparison. So, let's break these out. Let's see what we got here. So these are the molasses part number... I can't even pronounce it. M-A-L-O-S-S-I. Uh, 676416. So these are the two pieces. So this gear replaces this gear. Ain't much difference. These are straight where these are not, so I'm not sure the difference, like why they're not uh, helical. Here are these two parts side by side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the teeth and we're going to compare these exactly what the difference is. So here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on this one. And this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So two more teeth on that one. And this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 on the original versus the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So, there's your difference. Now we know. Side by side comparison. Same pitch, it looks like. It's like a 0.31 to a 2.6 difference or something like that. So, there you go. Let's, uh, let's read this manual. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, but I want to make sure I don't screw it up. We hope you have found the instructions <laughs> clear. However, at any points of particular contact, use our phone during office hours. We thank you in advice for comments and suggestions you may wish to send us. So goodbye from us at Molasses, and please accept our compliments. Have fun, good luck, and see you next time. I hope I don't see you next time. This should work forever. The descriptions in this publication are not binding. Molasses rights to change and blah, blah, blah. Printing errors. This publication replaces all previous publications referring the updated matters containing therein. Well, all right. I'm going to attempt to press this out using this vise. Let's see if this works. Put my safety glasses on. to go up and use the press. Okay then, guess we'll go up to the shop and use the press.
really on there. I feel like I could heat it up. I could try heating it up. Didn't budge that gear. Okay, let's go try to use the press. this in a bucket of ice and uh, heat that with a torch okay guys so this is how you do this um, if you don't know I have here the uh, the inner part and the ice water with salt so that it gets very cold you can actually hear the ice crack one when, <laughs> when I poured the salt in there and then the gear here we're going to heat up with a torch and making this hot and that cold, they'll fit together much, much, much easier. Then when they, they uh, uh, cool, this one will contract and that one will expand. And we'll have a much better, tighter seal and or compression between the two. I could probably press these on, but it's always better to do this method. So we're going to try it. That's how that's done. Now we got racing gears. Dun 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 dun. All right, guys. So this footage is going to look a little different because I'm currently using my mother-in-law's iPad. I left the camera at the shop like a fool. But hey, life is what it is. Here's the two gears um, side by side again, so you can compare them because I haven't yet found anybody. 
uh, that has done that. No focus there. A little bright, huh? Focus in the dark. There we go. Anyway, bad sunlight. Um, and then again, these two sitting side by side. See if I can hold them up like this. See if I can get a better lighting here. Okay, so let's put this thing back together. Okay, time lapse. Putting this thing back together. Alright, I have currently put the gearbox back together. I did have a small incident where the uh, the gear, the big gear was not in right and it would not shift right and it would not spin right. Now I can tell you already that uh, this is free. This is very hard to turn but it's not even engaged in the gears yet because I disengaged it so I need some oil in there. It's very hard to spin. But it does spin, feels free, doesn't sound bad. So that's the whole gearbox disassembly and re re reassembly. So that's it. There you go.